Meanwhile, Iran denies it is hiding evidence of nuclear activity, even after satellite photos show work being done at a military complex. It is one more item Congress will have to evaluate as it debates the nuclear agreement with Iran. Here's CBN News Middle East Bureau Chief Chris Mitchell on assignment in Washington. This satellite image shows activity at Iran's Parchin military complex, a site often suspected of building a nuclear warhead. Iran claims the work is related to road construction, while others suggest it's a cleanup operation before IAEA inspectors arrive. As lawmakers on Capitol Hill debate the Iranian nuclear deal, they must decide if Iran can be trusted. Another question, can U.S. intelligence services find out how close Iran is to a nuclear bomb? If history is any judge, their record since World War II is not promising. Beginning all the way back in the 1940s, uh, with the Soviet Union at that time, the Communist Chinese, later on the Pakistanis, the Indians, the South Africans, um, all developed programs without the Western services, any of them apparently, or the IAEA, um, once it had come into existence later, um, knowing about them. Claire Lopez from the Center for Security Policy believes Iran practices a dual nuclear strategy, one hidden, and one for the world to see. The entire program uh, has always had a clandestine pathway to the bomb to it. I don't think we have anywhere near 10 years or 15 years. But the real program moved underground and remains to this day, in large part, I think, a covert or a clandestine um, uh, nuclear weapons program. And the proof of that is that every so often, another site will be revealed. Lopez agrees with Israel that the current nuclear deal fails to address Iran's secrets. I think that Prime Minister Netanyahu was exactly right to say that this deal, uh, if it goes through, legitimizes the overt pathway to a bomb for Iran, but it doesn't even address the covert pathway to a bomb, which continues unaffected by sanctions or anything else. Given past failures of Western intelligence to uncover hidden nuclear programs around the world, U.S. lawmakers will have to determine they won't be fooled again. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Washington.